Wouldn't it be cool if we could assign any thumbnail to our project? We actually can, but we need to change our workflow just a little bit. Now the trick is to import the thumbnail before any other assets into the project. Let's see this in practice. Okay, so we're in Project Manager now, so we can either right click and create a new project, or we can just click on this new project button at the bottom right hand corner. And let's call this project, Project Thumbnail. And now we have an empty project. So at the moment, this project doesn't have anything at all. This is a brand new project we just created. So the first thing we want to do is import the thumbnail. So I already designed the thumbnail for this project. So I'm just going to grab it now. And this is my thumbnail. So I'll just drag and drop. And now I'm going to click on this home button at the bottom right hand corner. This is the project manager. And at the moment, we don't see anything, right? It's blank. But if I right click on the project and click on update thumbnails, then we'll be able to see the thumbnail we just imported. Now that solves the problem for new projects, but how do we update the thumbnail for existing projects? So for existing projects, we gotta take the media out of the project, bring the thumbnail in, then bring the media back in. This is the project I worked on a few weeks ago. Now, if I hover over the thumbnail, we'll see that by default, it shows five images from the clips. Now let's open the project by double clicking on it. Yeah, we can save the other project, that's fine. Now, as you can see, this is a finished project, right? So what we wanna do is we wanna delete all the clips from the media pool. So I'm gonna go back to my media pool. I'm gonna click on this bin list. So it's gonna show me all the folders. Then I'm gonna click on mobile. I think I have most of the clips here. So I'm gonna click on the very first clip. I'm going to hold shift and scroll down, click, and I'm just going to press delete on the keyboard and pay attention to this part. This is our timeline. So if I hit delete, it's all going to turn red. That means the timeline can't find any media. And if we try to play it now, we won't be able to play it because there's no media. We'll click on the project manager, the bottom right hand corner. Now we'll right click on the project and go up the thumbnails. Now, in theory, it shouldn't show us anything, right? Because we just deleted all the media files from the project, but still showing us the old clips. Now let's import the thumbnail and see if that makes any difference. So I'm gonna go back to my folders. So I'll just drag the thumbnail in. Now, if we go back to the project manager and right click, update thumbnails, and now we can see the image we just imported. Now let's close this one. Now I'm gonna bring the media back in. So let's go to media tab. We'll go to the folder where we had all the clips. I'll go to my browser and simply drag the clips in. So I'll select one, control A, just drag and drop. And if I go to the cut page now, we can see all the files are back. Now let's save the project and let's close the project. So we'll go back to the project manager. We'll right click on the project and go close. And that's it. That's all I wanted to share today. If you learned something new, hit the like button and subscribe for new videos. My name is Mohammed, and I'll see you in the next one.